have there been any recent developments in CLL treatment and research that patients should know about? We could spend a few hours on this, but I'll, I'll try to summarize it. Uh, there's a lot of exciting developments in the field. I would say kind of a, at a high level, you know, obviously over the last decade, the entire field of CLL treatment has been transformed. Uh, whereas we, we only had chemotherapy-based approaches before, now we have a whole number of different drugs that we call novel agents. And what, the reason why they're novel is that they target the CLL cells but they spare the other cells in the body. So there's, there's less collateral damage there. And what that means is that they have fewer side effects and they're more effective. So it's really a win-win situation for, for patients. And there's, there's kind of been two main approaches uh, for this. One is to start a novel agent drug and to continue it sort of for as long as it's helping, which fortunately for, for most patients is a long time, many years. Uh, and then a newer approach is actually to do what's called time-limited therapy where you start usually kind of at least a couple of these different novel drugs together, uh, but hopefully achieve what we call a very deep remission, meaning you know excellent shrinkage of lymph nodes and improvement in blood counts and bone marrow disease. And by getting these very deep remissions, the idea is that we can do a finite period of, of treatment, whether it's one year or two years, kind of depends on the regimen, and then stop therapy, and then hope that patients can then enjoy many years of remission while off therapy, uh, and which can be nice in terms of reducing side effects and costs and all these other things. So th those are kind of the biggest developments in the field right now, the continuous novel agent therapy, time-limited novel agent therapy, and a lot of the clinical trials that are getting off the ground now are starting to compare these two strategies to figure out really what's the optimal way to treat CLL patients. How can patients stay up to date on developments like these? It's definitely challenging. It's, it's challenging even for us who are in the field to, to keep up with, with things uh, on the academic side. Uh, so, you know, for, I think for patients seeking out, you know, patient-friendly sources of information on, on the web are, are helpful, but, you know, sometimes it can be hard to know what, what's reliable information on, on the web. Uh, you know, so websites like this and programs like this, I think can be very helpful. Uh, another resource that a lot of my patients find helpful is the CLL Society. So www.clsociety.org. Uh, Brian Kaufman really curates a lot of the new developments in the field on that website nicely. He interviews a lot of different CLL experts in kind of these short, short format that can be very digestible for, for patients. Patient Power is another great website. So there, there's a bunch of them out there, and I think those can be a great resource for our patients. Mm -hmm.